What's up, you guys? Avery here, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pre-Nationals Market Watch. You should expect a lot of news to come out of this weekend's North American Championship. I almost said North American World Championship Qualifier, but there is no World Championship Qualifier this weekend due to, you know, shit like COVID and things like that. So make sure you smash every living crap out of that subscribe button and the bell and all of that other good stuff so we can get to 800 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. I'm truly, truly appreciative of all the support. So please keep it coming on in. I really do appreciate it. We're at almost 800. We're only 16 away. So let's keep it going. So let's look at what the prices are going into nationals because I guarantee you everything's going to drop like a fucking rock um, by the time that nationals is over because everyone's going to offload all their shit to get ready for what is going to be coming up. So we got droplets of 57s, the card that Robbie can't pull a third copy of, which I, I still laugh about his reaction to that. Uh, it's $9.00. Honor Arcs, Ghost Rares of 30s, boxes are $37 of Duelist of the Boo Boo Stain set. Like, this set was booty booty butt cheek. You want a set that was liquid ass, this is the fucking set. So, if you want to play uh, Water Control the deck, I don't know how good it is, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cheap. Um, Ghosts from the Past. This stuff, I haven't looked at the market in like a few months. And Dark Arms are still holding the line at 45s to 50s. Ball Sacks are 45s to 50s. Uh, second Haunting Displays are 60s. Arch Fiends are 39s. Tamiases are 25s. Halky Fibraxes are at 2s. That's actually really good until that shit gets banned. I hope to God it gets banned. Um, Titanic Galaxies at dollars. Alubars at 6s. Like, this, this is really good. Blue Eyes is at 130s and Dark Magician Girls at uh, about 240s. Uh, that's, that's really not terrible either. Uh, and drill lock birds. I want to pull up some hand traps here. So you're looking at highest 200 for ulties, 28s for the OTS packs, and $12 for Star Strike Blast. Uh, unlimbs are 14. The first edition market is 15. Yeah, you're looking at light plays for 12 as mods, 13s, 13s, 14s, near mint 15. Man, just droll has held its value after all this time. What about the ulties? Are the ulties like actually $200? Uh, 200 for mod play. Light play is 204. Near mint 215. And we're going all the way up. Where do these cap out? $500. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no one's paying 500 for an ulti. Like, kindly eat my ass. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Ash Blossom and Joyous Price Tag. Let's let's pull up the secrets here. So secrets and then the lowest. So the lowest are from Soul Burner, because of course they are. They were 26 is July 3rd through 5th. That was only 10 days ago. Now they're already going on up to the $30 mark. You're looking at uh, 25. And they're all one copy, one copy, some place with 15 sales that has three copies at basically, like, what is that, $27? Five, $4.99 plus $21.55? It's, it's a $25 card for a common. Like, holy balls. Uh, and the original secret rares. I'm curious where these are at. Apparently, first editions are at 130 Unlimited are 87 Look at this Korean shit. I was just talking about this in my last fucking video. Konami, or not Konami, fucking TCG player, you need to deal with this shit. Near Mint Unlims are 74s. That's actually not terrible if you want original secret rares. Uh, hit me with that first dead. First deads are 105 and on up to 106 and to 120. These things cap out at, oh God. These things cap out at 250 well that feedback is liquid ass but yeah 250 dollars in a french for 195 that feedback though um jesus lord have mercy that's expensive for original ashes uh let's see we already looked at ash burst of destiny so uh treble sunnies are 330s now i bring this up because keep in mind that you can play evil twins in splite there's a lot of different ways that you can build splite and evil twin is a very heavy otk centric version um so keep that in mind if you want to get max rarity uh evil twin stuff because it's it's going to the moon uh dpes are uh, 39 dollars masquerades are 20s those things really calm down ecclesias are 37s they have no right to be that mojis are 21s that makes sense because they're getting reprinted small worlds 20s m pin with the chimkin is eight uh ultras 15s uh heavenly prison 20 trouble regular trouble sundays are fives flunder cheap af um yeah i mean this is this is turned into a cheap set really what's what's holding the glue together with this set is uh is just the prismatics like that's really it because everything else in here just falls off i mean you're you're looking at what in this set you're looking at if it'll fucking load <laughs> you're looking at one two three four five six seven 
like seven high price cards and then one, two, three, four, five, six cards that are, are fairly well priced and they're all secrets uh, minus the masquerade that's an ultra. Uh, and then it just drops off from there like five, six, six, twos. I mean, it, there's nothing really there. You, you definitely wouldn't want to get a case of this, at least not at no $77. I also want to pull up Genesis Impact here. Um, these collector's rares are going to the moon. And like I said, if you want that Evil Twin stuff, you should have got it five minutes ago. Um, because going going into Nationals, I feel like the prices are going to hold. But definitely after Nationals, people are going to want to pick this stuff up to prepare for Splite. You're looking at uh, Kishi Kill Collector's Rare, 104. Uh, Lilla, 80. Evil Twin Lilla Collector Rare, 70. Uh, Kishi Kill, 72. Even unicorns are 63s. Phoenixes are 60s. Boxes for Genesis Impact are still holding the line at $50. These things were 53 and they're dropping back down to the $50 mark. This is a set that if you just wanted to sit on a case, especially at $50 a piece, it's really good. Because keep in mind that when Genesis Impact came out, it was around the time that everybody was getting into card games because Logan Paul, like, thought that made everybody think that you can make a shit ton of fucking money when it just doesn't work that way so everybody and their mama bought genesis impact and it wasn't that good of a set so people are still trying to offload the excess that they have and it's it, it blows me away uh next up here let's uh let's try and type in the dark change of heart what is what is going on with change of heart these days uh really now we've got 40 for the yuki's world See, I like the Magic Card version out of Metal Raiders. This, this is my favorite. First edition, 425. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, let's see. Unlimbs. Unlimbs. Hit me with that light play. So 16 for that. And then Near Mint Unlimb is 20. Do I even want to see the first edition? First edition Near Mint is $145 on up to three. That feedback, though. 300 And then you're looking at... Yeah, I mean, you're looking at $300 for the magic card version out of metal raiders and yuki's world is 27 and 110 near mint unlimited is 40 jesus like high rarity change of heart now speaking of taking control of the opponent's monsters triple tactics of the talent keep in mind that if you do hit a guardian chimera on this thing uh when they use brandon and red the opponent that some of the chimera will still get to pop shit you're looking at 25 and 20 uh let's go into rise of the duelist here what is going on in the rise of the holes uh $720 for fucking starlights yeah no 78s for droplets jesus they're out of stock of first edition boxes get the fuck out this set this set was a big time like you you won the lottery if you bought into this set and held on to it like honestly boxes what boxes were $276 jesus I mean, this was an amazing set. It was right when COVID hit. I mean, yeah, it's only got a few money cards. What the fuck? Is this, this is not bought out. Stop it. No. Who the fuck? Hold on. Clear filters. Okay. I was about to say, stop it. Like, what are, what are we doing here? Like, what the hell? Hang on. Let's, let's do this here. Clear. It doesn't need to be first edition. Uh... Jesus. Okay. 230. 237. Oh my god. That's that's just bonkers. Um pre-orders for Power of the Elements. I figured I would bring this up as well. Um you're looking at four dollars for packs, which is just whatever. You're looking at 70 on the pre-sales. Now, what you want to keep in mind with this is that things on pre-sale are always going to be higher. I would say that if you really want to get a case of this, for one thing, I think you should support your OTS store if you live close by, or even just if you have an OTS store that's somewhat close to you. Oh, excuse me. Um, you know, you could probably get them for about 60 to 65 on release day, and you shouldn't need to really worry about paying 70 a piece. Um, you know, it's, it's just sort of, it comes with the territory. Same thing with Tactical Masters. What are we looking at here for these? These are actually cheaper at 62s but again though if they're already this low on pre-sale then they're probably going to be lower on release day so i'd rather just pay the lowest price that i possibly can keep in mind too that it's also a side set and then last but not least here 
we can poke our heads into Dimension Force. If you want the high rarity Exorcister stuff, get it now. It's going to be the rogue pick for next format. 58s on boxes, 40 for Regulus, 16 for the Visa Star Frost, two tens on Ghost Bells. Jesus. Um, although that could not be including the Korean copies. Uh, Star Frost tens, Psychic and Punishers. You should have got those a long time ago. Eights on the Bereas, nines on the Albalanatus. Uh, Libromancer Fire is five. Illegal Knights are at threes. I mean, still, you should should be getting those while they're while they're low. And it just kind of drops off from there. So, guys, let me know what you think about this market. I mean, this is the time when prices are going to be at their highest going into a championship event. I guarantee to you, prices are going to drop like fucking Patrick's Rock in motherfucking SpongeBob because everybody's going to be offloading their shit and it's going to be a feeding frenzy. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.